Okay, so a few years ago, I woke up one day and had these big old like puffy red-ish blistery looking things on my cheeks. My one eye was completely swollen shut. Like it just, it was oozy, it was red, it was irritated. It was like, it was awful. It was awful. And I ended up going to urgent care. I can't remember what they thought it was at first and gave me some meds and sent me on my way, whatever. Got better within the week. A month later, it happens again. This happened for probably nine months of like, just randomly, I never knew when I was gonna wake up and my face was gonna be red and inflamed and irritated. And I went through countless test results or tests. I went through so many like, it's an allergen, it's this, it's that. And I eliminated, I mean, shampoos and conditioners and literally everything trying to figure out what it was. So eventually I ended up doing this like full allergy panel scratch test thing, whatever. So they put all these stickers all over my back and then a couple days later, like couldn't shower, couldn't whatever, go in and they take them all off and they tell you what you reacted to, right? And some of the things that I reacted to were, were abnormal, like I had no idea, like gold, I'm allergic to gold, but I was allergic to every fragrance. And I knew in my head that fragrances weren't good for us, but I didn't really, like I wanted to ignore it. I didn't want to do it, right? It's like one of those things we know is healthy for us, but we don't really want to, so we keep doing it. And it was like that drawn the line drawn in the sand. Like I've got to get rid of every fragrance in my house. And so over the years, I've gotten rid of so much of the fragrances and toxins and things like that, that are endocrine disruptors, the things that really impact my body that maybe we are tolerating. And then our body gets to a place where it just can't tolerate it anymore. And I think that this is what's happening for a lot of women. Like our bodies are so exposed to different toxins and triggers and fragrances and things, and all of it's impacting the way our body runs. So whether it be that your cycle's irregular or you're having diseases or just like not feeling fatigued or, or feeling fatigued or all those things, so much of it is coming from the things that we're doing in, in our environment. And Western medicine solution is like, let's give you a pill. Let's give you something to make a quick fix. When in reality, there's so many things that we can do to help support our bodies to function and run at its optimum, which is why I am participating in a workshop summit around how we can really create healthy families. How can we help support our, our own bodies and our own health, but also our family's health. And there's going to be a wide array of other experts that are sharing all of their tips and tricks and tools and things to really help cultivate long-term healthy families. So if you want the link, it's a free event. Just drop a, a comment that says healthy and I will send it over to you.